let's talk about the translation or translate English phrases to mathematical expressions. Translate the following phrases into mathematical expression. Number one, a number is added to six. May sabihin, we have an unknown number. Let's say that is x. Unknown number natin mga x. So, a number, let's say x, is added to six. Okay? So, added, ano bang operation ng added? Diba? Operation involved is addition. So, if we're going to translate that into mathematical expression, so we have... 6 plus x. Bakit siya 6 plus x and not x plus 6? Kasi yung number daw, yung number, ay ia-add natin kay 6. Number added 2. Okay, kaya siya 6 plus x. Okay? So, yan. Ito naman, kapag plus naman, pwede naman din natin gamitin yung x plus 6. Kasi kahit balik ta rin naman natin yan, same lang yung sagot. For example, uh, 6 plus x, try natin kung equal x plus 6. Mare, ang value ng x natin ay equal to 3. So, we have 6 plus 3 is equals to 3 plus 6. So, 9 is equals to 9. So, kahit balik ka rin mo siya, same pa rin po ng sagot. Okay? So, but the construction of the sentence, it says a number is added to 6. So, we have 6 plus x. Number 2, the sum of a number and 6. So, when we say sum, the operation involved is addition. A number, x, and 6. So, we have x plus 6. Okay? A sum of a number and 6. Number 3, 6 more than a number. So, we have 6 more than. So, ibig sabihin, addition, a number. So, kapag may nakita ka yung more than, okay, uunahin natin yung a number bago yung 6. Kaya meron tayo dyang x plus 6. Okay? A number muna, okay, yung, yung phrase muna or word muna after yung word na more than bago yung 6. Hindi pwedeng 6 plus x. Okay? Pero again, kapag addition, wala tayong problema. Hindi tayo mamamali kapag isosolve na natin yung problem. But, the construction of the sentence is 6 more than a number, so we have x plus 6. Number 4, a number increased by 6. So, a number increased, so addition by 6. Ibig sabihin, meron tayo ditong, okay, as is na x plus 6. Number 5, a number is subtracted from 6. So, meron tayong number x. Okay, so nakita niyo yung word na is. So, yung is na to, it doesn't mean equal. Okay, hindi po equal yan. So, sabi dyan, a number is subtracted from. So, ang operation involved natin dito ay, uh, syempre, minus. Okay? And then, 6. Kapag nakita po kayo ng from, di ba, pag sabihin ng from ay sa simula. Okay? From, from muna, and then, sunod yung a number. So, we have 6 minus x. Okay? Kung baga, una muna tong 6, bago mo uh, i-minus mo yung number. Kasi sub subtracted from 6. Okay? Next, the difference of a number and 6. So, difference means minus a number, and 6. So, we have x minus 6. So, as is lang to. Number 7, 6 less than a number. So, 6 less than minus ulit a number. So, para siyang yung number 3, 6 more than a number. So, pag may word na less than, unahin muna natin yung a number. So, we have x minus 6. Number 8, a number is decreased by 6. A number. So, may is na naman. So, hindi po ibig sabihin ay equal ha. Depende po yun sa construction ng sentence. So, a number decreased. So, minus ulit. By 6. So, as is lang ulit to, we have x minus 6. Number 9, 6 less a number. 6 less a number. So, hindi to katulad sa 7 na 6 less than a number. This is just 6 less a number. Okay, 6 less a number. So, ito lang ay as is. We have 6 minus 6. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, anwari yung mga x plus 6 na to, kita nyo meron tayong iba't ibang way how to uh, say it, how to express it in English phrases. Or yung Yung x minus 6, okay, pwede siyang uh, the difference of a number and 6, 6 less than a number, a number is decreased by 6, okay? So, once again, kapag may nakita po kayong a number is added to, yan po, baliktad. Or yung 6 more than, or yung 6 less than, baliktad din. And then, yung subtracted from, ganun din, baliktad din po. Pero kapag 6 less lang, as is po siya, okay? So, sa minus, very strict tayo dyan kasi mag-iiba siya ng ibig sabihin. Try natin. Tunari yung 6 minus 6 is equals to x minus 6. Example, ang x natin ay equal to 3. 3 na lang din. So, we have 6 minus 3 is equals to 3 minus 6. So, kung titignan mo dito, 6 minus 3 means 3. And then, 3 minus 6 means negative 3. And they are not equal. Okay? So, kapag sa minus, hindi po tayo pwedeng uh, magkamali ng position ng letters and number. Pero kapag plus, okay lang. Kasi as you can see, the proof, nag-i-equal naman sila. Okay? Next example, number 10. 
the product of two and a number. So, ang operation involved, product means multiplication, so times. Okay, so, wag tayo gumamit ng x kasi yung a number natin ay x. So, times. And two. So, the product of, okay, may of siya dyan, ibig sabihin, okay, nakaganyan siya. Okay, yung two and a number ay 2x. Okay, kasi ang operation natin ay times. So, kahit wag, wag na po kayo maglagay ng ng parenthesis dun sa 2x, okay na po yan. Okay, kahit wag na din kayo maglagay nung, nung times na symbol na ganyan, okay na din po yung 2x lang. Okay, next, 11, 2 times a number. So, 2 times a number, operation involved ay multiplication, and then a number. So, we have 2x. And then, number 12, twice a number. Okay, we have also 2x. Okay. Next naman is a number multiplied by 2. So, a number multiplied by 2. So, it means... Okay, it also mean 2x. Okay, 14, one half of a number. So, one half, one half of a number, we have x. So, ang ginamit natin dito ay of. So, pwede tayong gumamit dyan ng one half times x. Okay, so we have one half x. Okay, and a quotient of a number and two quotient of a number. So, ang operation involves a quotient is division, a number, and two. So, that is x over 2. Next, number 16, the ratio of a number and 2. So, ratio means division. A number and 2. So, pairing x over 2. Number 17, a number divided by 2. A number divided by 2. So, ang operation involved also ay division. So, it means x over 2. Okay? So, as you can see, on number 14, pwede rin po itong isulat as x over 2. Pare-pareho lang. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, ang simple 2x, pwede siyang magkaroon ng maraming version ng English phrases. Ganun din yung x over 2 natin. Okay? So, let's have another example of translation ng English, English phrases to mathematical expression. Okay? Twice the sum of two numbers. Okay? Twice the sum of two numbers. Okay? Two numbers. So, what is the answer? So, our answer here is 2 times x plus y. Imagine, ito yun, di ba? Pag sabi natin twice a number, ibig sabihin 2x. Twice a number. Isang number pa lang siya. Kasi ang sabi dito is sum of two numbers. Kaya nagkaroon ka dito ng isa pang number. Okay? And then, of course, sum daw nung two number. So, hindi kasama yung 2 sa parenthesis. Kaya siya nagkaroon ng 2 times x plus y. Okay? Next. 5 more than thrice a number. So, meron tayong word na more than. Okay? And then, 5 and then thrice a number. A number. Thrice means thrice a number. More than means plus 5. Okay? So, kapag nakita ka yung word na may than, so, di ba, nagbabalik tayo. So, unahin muna natin yung 3x, tsaka natin i plus 5. So, the answer here is 3x plus 5. Okay? Next is we have 3 less than twice a number. So, since may less than, okay, and then 3, and then twice, a number. So, unahin ulit natin, may word na than, yung twice, a number, bago natin i-less kay 3. So, we have 2x minus 3. Okay, next, subtract the product of u and v from a number. So, let's say, a number, yung x natin, so may word na from, and then subtract means yung minus, yung subtract daw natin yung product, so times yan, of u and v. So, magkasama yung u and v. So, we have x minus uv. Okay? So, from muna, yung from, unahin natin yung word or phrases after the word from, so which is the x or a number. So, we have x. Si salvation ay minus. Nga minus daw natin yung uv sa x. Kaya, x minus uv. Next. 4 times the square of a number. So, 4 times the square of a number. So, square. Kumbaga, naka-square siya. Okay? A number is x. And then, 4 times. So, meron tayo dito 4x squared. Okay? 4 times a number. Okay? Next. Yes, the square of x increased by the cube of y. So, the square of x increased by the cube of y. Okay? So, the square muna ng x and then increased by operation involved is plus by the cube of y. So, the answer here is x squared plus y cubed.
Okay? Next, the product of the sum and difference of x and y. So, the product means times the product of the sum and difference of x and y. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong product. Nakaganyan. Sum and difference. Sum and difference ng x and y. Okay? So, the answer here is the quantity x plus y times quantity x minus y. Okay, next example, the square of the sum of A and B. So, square of the sum of A and B. Okay, so we have A plus B kasi sum. Okay, A plus B. And then, naka square. Kaya, quantity A plus B raised to 2. Okay, next example, P divided by the sum of 5 and a number. So, here are the two, two choices. You can pause the video if you want to answer so that you can think. What is the correct answer? Okay, so let's have P divided by, so the operation here is division, the sum. Okay, we have plus the sum of 5 and a number. So here, makita natin, the correct answer is yung T all over 5 plus X. Okay, next is we have 1 half times the sum of two numbers. Okay. So, here are the choices. Again, you can pause the video. Okay, so one half. Okay, we have one half times the sum of two numbers. Okay, one half times the sum of two numbers. So, sum ng dalawang numbers. So, ano ba yung representation ng two numbers? So, pwede siyang x plus y. So, Tama yung mga nakaparentesis dito, may x plus y. So, tingnan natin kung tama ba yung replacement ng 2 nila, yung 1 half. So, 1 half times, so tama na ito, 1 half times the sum of x plus y. Okay? But also, this is also correct kasi pwede natin i-over by 2. Kasi meron po yung 1, di ba? So, yan yung 1 half. Okay? So, both are correct answer. Okay, next na is the sum of a a and B decreased by one half of a number. Okay? So, the sum of A and B decreased by one half of a number. The sum of A and B decreased by one half of a number. Okay? So, the correct answer here is both. Okay, so the sum of A and B decrease or minus, okay, one half of a number. Diba may one po dyan, so one half of a number. Okay, so this is minus, sorry. Okay, and then, also correct this one. A plus B, the sum of A and B decreased minus one half of a number. Okay, so next is the sum of a number X and 10 divided by the cube of Y. So, ito ang ating choices. The sum of a number x and 10, sum daw nila, okay, divide daw, okay, by the cube of y. So, therefore, the answer here is x plus 10 all over y cube. Okay? Now, itong isa, x plus 10 over y cube, it can be possible kapag ginamitan natin itong ating phrases ng comma dito sa my x. Okay, kunwari, ayan. Okay, merong comma dito. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay itong pangalawa. So, we have the sum of a number x. Okay, sum of a number x. And, so, magiging 10 divided by y cubed na siya. So, ito yung sagot kapag ginamitan natin ng comma dito. Okay. 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 So that's how we translate English phrases to mathematical expression.